it is snowing, but got the 240 all registered, ready to go. Has a 10 day inspection from the DMV. Um, so, yeah, let's go do a little vloggy vlog. It's been a while. So, uh, here we go. Alrighty, guys. It is, um, pretty darn cold out this past weekend. Well, yesterday it's, it was like a couple degrees with a wind chill of like negative 20 or so. But here goes a uh, cold start. Just for some of you people who said that you're having problems starting your RBs. Hey, let me undo this. But um, anyway, so yeah, what I like to do is prime the fuel pump for a minute or two until you hear it stop whining. And then, Keep in mind it's a little cold. That time it didn't start. No gas. But yeah, it pretty much started uh, right away. It took a little while to turn over just because it's so cold. But yeah, I came out here the other day to drive my car and the nicer I had the nicer wheels on the racing hearts and the passenger side uh, front wheel was just like the tire was off of the wheel like the bead was broken so I don't know how that happened so I just switched over to the, to the stock teardrops and plus these wheels have the, uh, the all seasons on them not that it really makes a difference but uh But yeah, so we're gonna go to AutoZone, get some oil. Um, might do a little bit of fooling around. I am actually under contract that I, I cannot drift on the roads because this is now a school project and I'm documenting all of my um, progress on this car. Also, I think my uh, my transmission is on its way out, so I'm gonna have to put in a KI transmission eventually because um, it pops out of gear a lot. But it's really only a problem when it's cold. It definitely feels really good just to be back in this car and uh, driving it again. Ugh. Let's turn on the lights, I guess. But it's definitely, it's definitely a lot more stiff than the BMW. Hey, I'm gonna go get oil and stuff. Love you, bye. <laughs> that was my mom. And yeah, I think you guys will finally be able to see how much my uh, my temp gauge glitches out. I don't know what's wrong with that. I'm going to have to go through the wiring again, which isn't a big deal. But um, I did mess up during the install. I didn't put an amp on it. Like, a, I mean, a, a little fuse. So it might have drawn too many amps and kind of messed with the, the gauge itself because it just glitches out every once in a while. Actually, very often it does, but um, seems to be reading right now. swearing a lot guys cursing whatever you call it my family watches my videos and they're like why do you have to curse so much blah, blah, blah. 
so I'm gonna try to keep that down to a minimum. Um, it's kind of hard for me. It's a pretty bad habit of mine. So uh, yeah, no more cursing. Probably a good idea to put on my lap belts on a day like today. Little heel toe. But yeah, you can also hear that my transmission is going out because um, you can hear it whine while the clutch isn't engaged. But already, listen, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna put the clutch in, and it goes away, and now it's back. But if it was the opposite way around, like say if that if that whirling noise was only present when I push the clutch in, then that would be the throttle bearing. But since that pre that uh, noise is present as I'm just driving with the clutch not engaged. Well, it's engaged, the clutch is engaged, but I'm not physically pushing it, and that is not depressed. Anyway, um, oh, got construction here. But uh, anyway, as I was saying, <coughs> sorry, I just totally, just totally lost my, uh, train of thought, but um, since it's since it's making that whirling sound as I'm driving, then, uh, you know, it's because the uh, gears and the synchro or something I've heard, something, something like that. But it makes sense, because if I'm like, if I'm in first and I'm romping on it, spinning the tires, if I go to change in a second real quick while I'm still, you know, around seven grand in the RPM range, it won't let me go in to second, so I have to, uh, I have to like wait a second prior to putting it into into second. So I'm like, spinning tire, spinning tire, let off the throttle, into the clutch for like, a, you know, and just really, really delay my shifting. I might have to light up the tires for you guys at least once. I might. Plus, it's already wet out, so it's gonna just spin like, spin like nothing. It's not like I have an LS under the hood, but it's still gonna spin pretty good considering I'm using uh, 190 tires, right? I think, no, they're 195s and they're a really hard compound. They're not sticky at all. So they spin pretty well. All right, the heat is kicking in. No AC, but the heat works so good. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, within the uh, next couple of days, I'm gonna be taking my car in for an inspection because I just have the temporary one right now. And um, I also wanna get an alignment because my steering wheel is all over the place, especially when I put on the, uh, the nicer wheels. Um, it really does not wanna drive straight. I mean, right now the steering wheel is almost straight, but it still doesn't feel like it still wants to track to the right a little bit. It's really noticeable with the other wheels, but whatever. I hope I didn't bend something. I might have with my stiff suspension and these terrible, terrible roads here. out of gear when it's cold. And also I have reason to believe that my ignition timing is off, or at least a little bit, because um, me and Calvin are running almost the same setup. Uh, he actually, he's running a little more boost than I am, but um, yeah, I think he's, he's running like 13, 14 PSI on high boost and then 10 for him is low, but uh, I'm running 10 PSI right now. And when he lets off the throttle, uh, his car pops a lot. Whereas mine, okay. Whereas mine is uh, rather muffled. I know he's he's using a straight pipe, or he's running a straight pipe, the, the uh, ISIS blast pipes. But I feel like it should sound more pronounced than it does for me. 
guys. My, I'm straight. <laughs> I, I am straight, but I'm running a, uh, it's almost a straight pipe. It just has a muffler on the back. I mean, I, I have a test pipe and everything. But, um, I actually do kind of want to get uh, catalytic converter converters just because uh, the exhaust smells terrible. I mean, I could be running Pig Ridge. I don't really know. I mean, I don't think it's running that rich. It's not running any more rich than the KA was. But, um... I still have to get my AFR installed. I really don't know where to go for that. Because I have to have it welded into the uh, downpipe. I'm fine with wiring it myself. I just need to have the little bung uh, wired in. I mean, not wired in, welded in. take my hood off so I don't look too sketchy in this area. There's cops everywhere. Look at this wonderful salt on the road. Wonderful. I love it. I love it. reading, you know, like, what is that, 205, 200, I took my fans out, just because the wiring looked terrible, I'm gonna have to, uh, redo my fan setup, because, you know, I want, I want to have fans, like, I wish I could actually just put in the clutch fan, but I don't really feel like spending $400 on the, uh, the Chase Bay's tucked radiator, that it, that fits under the radiator support. just end up coughing up the extra money for that radiator. Mine's pretty beat up anyway, but it doesn't leak or anything. Um, but yeah, it would just be nice to run the original clutch fan so then I can flow, you know, a lot of air without having to worry about any stupid fans or electrical problems. Yeah, so I think the, uh, I think the video just ended a little short there. We just got to AutoZone. Parked next to a uh, nice WRX hatch. But yeah, time to get uh, some oil, and I think I might be getting um, some, what's it called? Some, um, geez, speaker, like, sleeves. I don't know, it's like some foam sleeve or something that is uh, supposed to help the audio. I do want to get an amp and sub for this car, just because uh, the audio kind of sucks, and all my friends' cars bump, and I want my car to bump. So yeah, all right, be back in a minute. Alright guys, so I am in the AutoZone parking lot and I had already installed these, uh, these little foam cups. I think, what are they called here? Boom mat speaker baffles. Anyway, so it looks like this. Uh, you know, it just kind of keeps all the moisture off of the speaker and it's supposed to help the acoustics and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I just installed that. I'm still in the AutoZone parking lot just because I'm bored and I figured if I go home I'll probably end up playing Xbox. But I also got the oil that I needed, uh, 10W40. And, uh, yeah, so I just installed that one. Now I'm going to do the other side and we'll see how it sounds. Alright guys, so uh, I don't know if I made a video on this. I think I might have. But anyway, these are just the, uh, the four point, no, 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 what am I ta talking about? is the uh, 4x4 adapter to 6.5 inch speakers. Uh, I think I just have like some cheapo two-way Pioneers. I think they were like, I don't know, 80 bucks for two. Which, now that I'm actually, oh, here they are. They weren't $80 for two. I don't think so. But if they were $80 for two, I like, way overpaid, because you can get way better speakers for $80. Well, way better 6.5s for $80. But yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Alright guys, so I got this one mounted in. Um, I did break the little, what's it called, like the little clips on this side. So I just found like whatever kind of washer I could in my car. And uh, that's the only thing I had. That little, uh, what's it called, 
forgetting what it is. But anyway, yeah, I just had to use that, and uh, time to put the door panel back on, we'll see how it sounds. But it's not to the sound of birds The tyranny, the violent streets The problem of all that we're blessed with And we can't get enough, no Heaven if you sent us down So we can build a playground around For the sinners to play a saints Alright guys, so that's just a little preview. Um, sounds like shit. I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. It sounds um, better than it did before. Definitely better than it did before. Um, you know, again, 6.5 Pioneers in the front and 4x4 uh, four four Pioneers in the rear. They just go right over there. Um, I don't think you can modify those too much. I mean, you could definitely cut metal out and put a bigger speaker, but they don't have any uh, pre-made adapters. And uh, honestly, I wouldn't I wouldn't go cutting away regardless, so. <clears throat> but I definitely want to get an amp and sub, but I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. See ya. Let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire.